I feel like every time they try to like remake a monster or like make a mythic version of it, most of the time they just add some random stuff or like make some like certain parts of the monster bigger. And for Epigursus case, the man bigger and just gave him like burnt armor it seems. Epigursus didn't do anything to deserve his transformation into Epigursus. He was just lucky enough to be around when Kai the Sun Melter rejected the cells that the Shant the Great had sent to him. Big loss for Kai, big win for Epigursus. Stats, power, 2527. Life, 139,038. Speed, 7832. Overall, he's got a pretty decent life stat. Trait, rank 0, Mountain, which is okay. Rank 1, Taunt, which is decent. Rank 3, SE Mega Taunt, 1 turn, which is okay, I guess. Overall, pretty decent trap sites, so it's 1 turn Mega Taunt. Has decent route slots for armor and traps so he can sustain himself and remove stamina. Epicus has a good move pool. He has access to 4 torches. Hellfire, Sandstorm, Burn, and Quicksand. Can apply 50% life shield, Mega Taunt, 40% life shield, and has a 0 quarter and 0 stamina spareable 30% life shield. The moves that I would use will be Strato Quake, deals moderate dark damage to one enemy, applies Quicksand to one enemy. Second move, Supernova Ruptor, deals very heavy fire damage to one enemy, applies burn to one enemy. Third move, Tempora's Blessing, applies a 50% life shield and Mega Taunt to itself. And final move, Pompeii's Fall. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies Hellfire and Sandstorm to all enemies. Overall, Epic Gris is a decent tank with decent stats and decent trait and decent relic slots. So Epic Gris will work well on most teams. The good thing about him is that he has access to both Taunt and Mega Taunt. Four Torches, has a spammable shield. The bad thing about him is that he only has shield to sustain himself. And Mega Taunt only lasts one turn for some odd reason.